through dating him. Like, I, that's how I got, like, my confidence and my self-esteem. Hey, Adam. Did you find a date yet in Florence? I need to talk to you when I get home, okay? So that's something you said. I can't stand my roommates trying to bat off me to my friends. I can't stand it when, when they get inside their head. For me to be around CT sometimes, and I'm not getting that impact, and I'm not, and when I try, it's hard for me to find something special on that. This is the true story. Seven, seven strangers. Seven strangers. Thanks to live in France. In a chateau. Work together and have their lives changed. Thought that what happened? When people stop being polite. What are you on, dog? It's not getting real. The, the real, real world has. Mommy! Hi! It's great. Giuseppe says hi. I miss you. The thing about Giuseppe is that he gives me the feeling that I feared for so long I was never gonna have again. Mom, I got engaged. Giuseppe and I are getting married. No, I'm kidding. I'll play tomorrow, okay? I love you. He loves me, and that's fun. for so long after breaking up with Frank that nobody was ever gonna love me that much again. I definitely wish I would have met Giuseppe earlier on because I just can let my guard down and just be Leah. Yeah. Talking about about me after I left? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know. Probably playing games. I didn't know what was going on. Do you think I wanted to fight with you on purpose? I don't think it's your fault. I said some dumb things. I know that you don't mean it, but people were, like, saying things that you said and that hurt my feelings. Like, yeah, that's another thing, Jamie. I mean, you tell me that people will say stuff, and then you wouldn't even tell me who it was. I don't want me to fight with your roommates because of me. I'm guessing, like, Leah and Tina. You know what I mean? Why can't they just mind their business, you know? When Tina feels like you have a right to know, right to know what? She don't know about us. She doesn't even know about me. It's just like she's trying to make things worse. I live in a house with seven strangers that have all different lifestyles. So there's just constant conflict. Me and Mike grew up together, and I know no matter what happens, he's always going to be there for me. The last couple of weeks, you know, I, I was really uncomfortable by, you know, some of the things that were said to my girlfriend and some of the situations that I had to uh, go through. I've shown pretty much everybody in the house more respect than they've ever given me. You know what I mean? It's like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, man. As much as I would like to trust everybody in the house, I can't help thinking about what they've done in the past to me. Like, if someone comes at me with an issue, I'll try to handle first instead of being like, what, whatever, y'all yeah, okay, I don't care, f that, y'all all right, that's whatever. That's how you used to be, and I've noticed that, now I've noticed like, that you don't hold grudges here like you did at home. Really? Oh, come on, man. Up beneath this ex tough exterior, and you, you care. You have a big heart, Chris. Yeah. You care. seen you in a weekend. You want to say hello? I'm not going to play buddy-buddy with them if they're going to sit there and bat off me and talk behind my back, and then when they see me, they're going to say hi. I'm not trying to hear it. She's like, hi. Kept walking. I was like, you didn't even look at me when you said hi. Leah's like, you're not going to talk to me. You're not going to talk to me. Coffee with that talk? I've been thinking about Tina and Leah a lot. Well, I'm about to talk to them. I don't think it's going to go well.
My friend Samir is coming in town, and I've known him since we were in the sixth grade. All right, yes. pretty well, but there really is no substitute for somebody you grew up with as a kid. So it's nice to, to have him here. Uh, you too. Tonight, we're going to go out. We probably won't come home until 6.30 in the morning. And then we're going to go hit up this club. I'm telling you, number, number hot, number hot. Kind of club, nine club, and never hot girls in the club. Dude, it's kind of scary. If they had that in L.A., I don't think any of us would work. We wouldn't have a job. We wouldn't have much of anything. <laughs> Samir's a lot like me, and he loves to, like, just go out like a rock star, party, go crazy, and just pass out and wake up and do it all over again. Hello. Mallory. Nice Mallory, nice to meet you. Hey, what's up, Simon? Hi. How are you? Oh, you guys want to make it some neat? Macaroni and cheese. Yeah, I need some gourmet pasta. I need some pasta. Right. You want some? Yeah, well, I'm okay for now, but that's wow. actually one of my favorites. Ravioli. Smears, like, beaming. Just happy and like, yeah, hey, guys. I just think he's cute. Uh -huh. It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, I like what. I've heard a lot about you. Are you coming up with some night, too? Yeah, that's your face. ass, I am. Well, that's what I'm saying. You want something good for you? You want a protein shake? Yeah. But I'm gonna make this taste a little good. Still some milk real quick. How's everything with you and Jane? Just wish thing, things didn't turn out that way. I was a little upset. I didn't appreciate you blowing up my spot either. What? Tell them about the conversation me and Mike had. She heard it. She was standing at the gate. No, she said someone told her. I don't want this little confrontation to escalate into something that can get real nasty. I did that with Adam already, you know. I feel like I can ask for it. Oh, you're anything to Jamie. Tina did, though. Tina was, like, trying to, like, warn her about me. I'm just ready to drink. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Hey. What are you doing? Going on, just getting ready to go to work. Ah. Uh. Going on. Did I want to talk to Tina about what happened when uh, Jamie came? Tina? Yeah, what had happened about when me and Jamie, how she was always getting into my business. And whenever someone's had a guest, I've never brought that guest into the middle between me and a roommate tissue. It should never be done that way. Tina doesn't have a right to put me in a bad light, trying to warn the girls about me like I'm a bad person. They shouldn't get involved in any way, shape, or form, and she should never have done that. Just, you know, just start to, can I talk to you for a minute alone, me and you? You don't have to be no big, drawn-out, screaming mad. Yeah, that's what I don't want, you know what no, I mean? you don't have it's to. The, it's, not anymore, you know? it's not fun anymore, you know? It's not fun anymore, it's not funny. It's not worth it's it. It's a waste of time. But no matter what, right. you shouldn't interfere with your relationship. I mean, you just don't, you don't do that. I didn't even know you had this in your room, otherwise I would have taken all of them. Those cute cows. They're expensive. What are you doing tomorrow? I am working tomorrow. On your interview? Yeah. CT and I probably have the rockiest relationship in the house. Neither one of us know a lot about each other, and the more we try to understand about each other, it, we just kind of deflect off. Is everything going okay with you and Jamie? Mm -hmm. What happened? Whenever me and Tina are around, alone, it just seems like she talks to me differently, she acts differently. I just want to get Tina alone and just talk to her and love her with her, just to see what's on her mind. So, what are you doing tomorrow? I'll tell you all about Jamie. Hit me. Okay. So we'll go to like an early lunch tomorrow. I'm down with that. <laughs> So what's up? Are you down to come to the jacuzzi with me? I'll come kick it with you while you're there. What about you, Emily? You coming? Mm -hmm. Tight, tight, tight. Should we make a drink first? Mm -hmm. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> I'm gonna go put on my little thing. What is that, bathing suit? You, I'm gonna put on my little thing. Yeah. <laughs> you do what you gotta do with that. Yeah, take your time. I gotta, I gotta make some calls and see where people are anyway. All right. Hey, it's gonna be a fun night tonight. Yeah. You best believe it. I think it's great that Lee and Samir are hanging out, spending time together, and uh, and just having a great time. When we first got here, they made a whole thing, 
and it has like chalk lines of how many times they masturbate. No way. Ace could fill up probably the whole left side of the house with lines. I'm sure Adam is not far behind. <laughs> no, he tells us though. And Chris is like, no, I never do. And I'm like, P that's how we feel about women. I think that every girl masturbates. I yes. Yes. I don't know. You think it's just gross? No, no. I don't know. It's just not. It's just not for me. Okay. No. That's all. <laughs> that makes for a crazy shower that you all have to share, because you might be the only one that feels like that. <laughs> Apparently, it seemed like they'd be a good match because they're both just very, very outgoing. They just seem like their personalities click for sure. No Can joke. I take this off without? I almost made a boob. You just saw my boob? I'm sorry, did you want to see it again? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm gonna go shower because I'm nasty. This is Leah. This is me. I'm fun. I'm fun. I think just happy is a very genuine, nice guy. I don't know what's going on there. But you guys have a really good shower. <laughs> Leah, are you ready? Straight out the door. This way. Go. Go, 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 go. Watch the steps, though. You good? All right. We're trying to catch this metro. Uh -huh. Samir's a lot of fun. He's cute and I'm allowed. Probably is a bit more serious than I thought it was at first. Just give it time. You still feel the same. You still feel the same. Is he okay? Is he oh, holding down the fine. fort? All right, come. Fine. <laughs> you, you can probably wait until we get home to do that. Just <laughs> some pasta. What you have in there? <laughs> that is some ravioli up in Oh, we, 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 we. Simon, get your ass in the cab real quick. We, uh, It's okay. <coughs> I'll take you right up to bed.
I'm a very private person. I'm a very, uh, I hide everything. And you, and you wonder why people don't know anything about you. It's, it's pretty sad when I learn more about you in 15 minutes through somebody else. I'm sorry. No, you don't think that's weird? No. I, honestly, that's how most people find out about me. I don't tell them. I'm not really, I don't. Do you not trust me? No. Do you trust anybody? Nope. He's upset and he feels alone in the house, but in the same sense, you haven't really put anything out on the table for anybody to know or appreciate or to understand, and he never explains any of his behavior or his actions. You know when I felt the whole, when Jamie was here? What? Uh, you know, the whole time, whenever somebody's had a guest here, mm -hmm. I've never brought a guest in, into an issue between me and a roommate, and I felt like he did that. When Jamie was here, he didn't try to, to put me in a bad light, did you? You know, I felt like her complaints well, your complaints. And that's when I was like, Tina must be inside her head. Wendy said that you felt very alone in the house. I told Wendy that, you know, sometimes CT puts it on himself. I don't know how CT can understand if there's six other people that are frustrated and angry with him, but he refuses to change. I don't want him to be mad at me and think that I got in the middle and tried to cause drama or tried to make things worse. Jamie was here because she got along so well with you girls. Mm -hmm. You girls just didn't sink, like. Yeah. And it just made me feel like, you know what? And that's when I really felt like I really took full credit for our relationship the way it is. There's a very distinct difference um, between past arguments with CT and with him right now. Come on, man. It seems like he's willing to listen to my opinion a lot more. Restaurants. Five. Four. Two bad eat. Who picked this restaurant? I did. You did not. Yes, I did. This is really pretty. This is very cool. When I came here, I was really like, was really I'm cool. not going to change. I'm a boss, and that's it. This is how we are. This is how we do. But now it's kind of like, you know what? Maybe there's more to this world than Boston. I think CT is very misunderstood. He has a lot to say. It's just you have to take the time to listen. A lot of people haven't taken time to listen. It would be a shame if, uh, you know, we all came here and... We didn't learn anything, and we didn't build tight relationships with each other. Paris? No, 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 no. It's a communication and new beginnings. Good. Very good. Here's to you and here's to me. Best the friends will always be. Should we ever disagree? you and here's to me. I'm so glad you came in. I'm so glad somebody <laughs> broke my roommates out of the show. These hopping in the shower with you. I love it. I love it. It's like, hey, let's show them how we do. Taste the West Coast and love you. To get, to get the East Coast play the lady out. Yeah, she man. Got, I'm getting in the shower with you. Simon got him thrown out. Yeah. It was good. It was a good situation. <laughs> Pronto. Hi. Hi. What are you? What? What are you? I'm home. I miss you and your voice. Aww. I really miss you your voice. I miss your voice. What's up, Ellen? You should not call me. <laughs> no, I'm so tired. You know, I I can I know everything uh, what you're doing there. Okay. I will know. Yeah, so you I'm will. Not, yeah. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Am I in love with Giuseppe? No, because that takes time. Do I love the attention I get from him? Yes, and I definitely love the way that he makes me feel. Like when he walks into your room, I feel better. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Okay. Bye. Have a nice night. Bye you bye. You too. Ciao. Ciao. doing exactly what I wish everybody would have done from jump, which is not be afraid to go out mm -hmm. there and have a good time. I like the fact you just came back, you're like, look, 23 years old, I got a hot Italian stud, I'm be with later. Right now, I'm in Paris, need to party. Am I definitely interested in pursuing something with Giuseppe? Absolutely. 
Mm-hmm. I absolutely do. But like having Samir here, I felt like it was like, okay, like I can do whatever I want. She's a normal, young, red-blooded American woman. There's no reason that she should be shying away from men. Giuseppe, he does. He makes me feel good. And I feel like he, he adores me in a way that, like, I used to be adored. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's nice to have that, to have someone that makes you feel that great. You know what I mean? Next, on The Real World. Is he really gone, Jay? He really is. The trouble my parents are having goes back 20 years. My father finally moved out. Oh, God. Stephanie and I have a great friendship because we take very good care of each other. Stephanie has given me a letter from my doctor. Leah's very upset. She's crying, and I have no idea why. You just heard... Tonight's Real World episode featured music from Junior Senior and many more of your favorite artists. Log on to MTV.com and check out the full list of music you just heard.